from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 10. The vets I personally went and taught haven't seen people abusing their pets, but they have seen them using their older pets that might be arthritic and just saying the medicine isn't working, the medicine isn't working, when in fact it might be, but they're just using it for themselves. Some people in the Ozarks are finding ways to get high that may surprise you. And now a local nonprofit is offering courses to prevent it. Color 10's Madison Heaver is back from speaking with a local veterinarian today who says people are using their pets now to feed their addictions. Madison. That's right, Heather and David. There's an ongoing trend to get painkillers that have been prescribed by a vet for sick animals. But the community partnership with the Ozarks is hoping to solve that problem. Dr. Philip Brown with the Springfield Animal Care Center says some pet owners are using their animals to get prescribed opioids when they take them for a visit to the vet. They're going to either bring in a pet and they're going to, they're going to say that my dog's limping on this leg. He's been limping two days, three days. Sometimes you get people asking you different questions and you figure out they're pretty road savvy on what's going on. And so, you, you know, it raises a question. Brown says veterinarians normally don't prescribe painkillers first. We'll generally start with non-sterile anti-inflammatories. That's our first blush, and there's some very good ones on the market. But we're not probably first time through going to prescribe that kind of stuff. Over at the Community Partnership of the Ozarks in Springfield, Samantha Sherman says criminals not only use injured animals to get prescriptions, but also elderly animals. They have seen them using their older pets that might be arthritic and just saying the medicine isn't working, the medicine isn't working, when in fact it might be, but they're just using it for themselves. Let's say this isn't new, but they're keeping their eyes open for people trying to pawn their animals for painkillers. How do you catch that kind of thing? And and it's very, it's, it is very, very difficult. Uh, we do work with pharmacists and we tr do try to pay very, very close attention to it. While the prescription drug monitoring program tracks what doctors are prescribing, there's no technology to track what opioids pets may be getting. That would be the dream, would be to have some type of monitoring program. CPO is now offering education on how to handle situations like these and to prevent them from continuing. We're teaching them how to recognize the signs that someone might be um, using their animal to get those pills and so what to do once that is happening. I just think it's important that we're all, we all pay attention to it and that, that, that we do bring these things up. Now, if you or someone you know is interested in the training, reach out to CPO directly. But on OzarksFirst.com, we're putting up a link to CPO's information on substance abuse prevention.